everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite time of the week again. The time when we ask, does this thing really work? Ooh, does it? We don't know until we try. Before we get started, uh, let's just have a sippy sippy, shall we? <sighs> All right. So some of you may be asking yourself, what is it that we're trying today, Bunny? And the thing that we're trying today is called Nails in Motion. Ooh, look, it comes with a logo on the box. So professional. Let's just explore what we have in this box, shall we? I'm having a really bad luck lately finding as seen on TV things in stores. So I'm actually using the internet and I'm finding these devices that you guys are suggesting to me and I am ordering them and they are being delivered to me to my house. So I found these these on Amazon, a Swamp family member suggested on Facebook that I try this apparatus out. I've also been getting tens, like an explosion of requests to try the WOW cup. So I ordered that yesterday and it should be arriving shortly. Are you excited? So excited? I hope so. I have no idea what a WOW cup is, but whew, I hope we get to find out next week. Anyway, today is Nails in Motion, and this box came with a couple of different things. These things, which is in this sack here, and they're for the phalanges, and then they also sent me like a bonus Jonas type gift of Nails in Motion for your feet. So these would be like feet nails in motion. Feet nails. Wow. Mm -hmm. I meant toenails. Toenails in motion is what these would be called. Oh, and we get this little bag, which is 30,000 times... Oh, this is for the shoes. Never mind. We get like a little bag to put the shoes in. Wow. Anyway, I didn't really get it for the shoes. The shoes are supposed to be like the toe spacers for pedicures. But don't nobody want to see my feet, but it came with these. Wow. So what these are supposed to be is these tiny little plastical apparatuses that you would slide onto your fingernails, I guess like so, it, like clamp it down after you've painted your fingernails. And this is supposed to be for people like me that have no patience or ability to sit still for like five seconds while your fingernails dry. So you're supposed to be able to like turn pages of a book or a magazine, like get in your car, put your safety belt on, dig around in your purse and like get things out of your bag, all without ruining your freshly painted phalange nail tips. I'm not exactly sure if these are one size fits all friendly, like I'm not so sure the same thing that would fit on my thumb would fit on my pinky. And I'm not really seeing any different size choices in here. They all look exactly the same, right? 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 And then there's these pink ones, which seem a little bit smaller, and I used context clues that maybe the pink ones are for your pinkies, but I don't see how to, like, bust one of these things. Should we try and be destructive right now? I don't see how to detach this thing. I'm gonna try and break one right out the top. Oh, okay, it does snap out. Let's see if I'm correct. Is the pink one for the pink? Oh, goodbye, friend. Uh, I just dropped that one clear across the other side of the room. Mm. All right. Using thoughts. Pink for pinky? Oh, my God. Could I be correct? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, pink for pinky. All right, pink for pinky. I can figure things out using this matter that shoved into my cranial space. All right, I have the most damaging nail polish that I could find. This is the L'Oreal Drop Dead Gorgeous. It's like a black color, so I figured we'd be able to see that nice and clear. So I'm just gonna paint my fingernails real darn quick in a not completely neat-like fashion, and we are gonna see if I can start touching things without ruining things. Wow. Oh, maybe while I paint my nails, I could tell you guys a story really quick. I can't really think of any stories at the moment. I accidentally scared a small child yesterday while buying a brand new doll at the antique store. Maybe that's not the kind of story I should share. All right. Wow. I already have one hand painted. That was a real short story, wasn't it? Okay, now I'm going to snap these onto my phalanges. I'm real excited about all this. I feel like I'm louder than normal today. Okay, these are really easy to snap on. I'm about to get to the pink one for the pinky. Yeah. All right. 
Yes. Almost done. All right. Oh, wow. I mean, this just in itself is like a glorious looking space age kind of accessory. Like, I just want to wear this and maybe wear all silver at the same time. Don't I look like I'm from the future right now? Wow. So future. So futuristic. Oh, look, I can like brush my hair. No. Let me go grab my bag and we'll see if I can touch things out of it. Why did I do my left hand? Excuse me for a second. Guess this back. Back again. Okay, uh, this is the bag that I'm currently carrying. It is full of lots of mysterious junk that I could possibly ruin my nails on. So let me just stick my hand in my bag and see what happens. All right. Ooh, look up wire to possibly nothing. Oh, we have some peanuts in here. Let's touch the peanuts. Am I ruining my manicure? I don't know. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna try and take out money from my wallet, like if I had to pay the nail salon people and uh, like would catastrophically, oh, I feel like I just touched my wallet with my wet nails. This displeases me. You'd have to like go at it like this. For, do you see what I'm saying? You have to, you'd have to like use these plasticky things. I feel like I'm touching everything with my fingernails. But yet the nails seem intact. Wow. The next test requires going to my car to put on my safety belt. I've never messed up my nails putting on my safety belt personally, but we shall see if possibly I could mess it up this time. Into the car. Wow, nothing is messed up yet. Okay, safety belt test. Here we go. Applying the safety belt. How bad is the lighting out here right now? The sun is sinking from the sky area. Wow, look, I could even like drive. Yeah. Still not messing things up. <laughs> too close, too close to my pimples. What else could I touch? What else could I, oh, I could touch my tea glass. Am I gonna mess them up? No, wow, ooh. <sighs> Protective sippy sippy. All right, I think it's safe to say that it pretty much passed the wallet test, the purse test, the safety belt test, and the only other thing that I think that they suggested is using the phone, but I don't really ever mess up my nails by using the phone either. I mean, it's not like I'm like texting with the back of my fingernails. Just, do you do that? Now it is time for the big reveal. They don't look messed up. I mean, I only put on one coat really quick, but it's not like they look like they touched the plastic any. These are all the ones I had and I'm not seeing any black nail polish residue. And uh, despite the fact that my nails are a little bit streaky from only having one coat, my nails don't look messed up at all. So I don't know why this is not a more popular device. Is this just like overly simplistic and I'm having a really dumb moment right now? I kind of actually think that this is one of the better devices that I tested. The only thing that might be kind of like is like the wallet thing because you still do kind of have to be careful because you're not like reaching with the plat like your fingers still move under the plastic. Do you know what I mean? Overall, I think that this is a pretty sound device and I think that yes, Indeed, this thing does really work. The only place that I've really seen this available is Amazon and it was $10 and you get the pedicure flip flops and I have really cute Santa Clauses painted on my toes right now and I don't wanna paint over them, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, I got it for the nails in motion anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you were excited for the WOW Cup. Like if you still like this does this thing really work series. I am always enjoying and loving and needing feedback from you guys, my Swamp family. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you're not already, please take a minute, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family and give an alligator its wings. Also if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. And two quick announcements, I do still have have a few of the official Swamp Family 
t-shirts left back in stock. There's two different designs. I will have the links to all of them in the info box. And also, also, I just wanted to make sure and make an announcement and let everybody know that the Naked 3 palette winners have been announced. It's on my Facebook page. I posted it to Twitter and to my website, graveyardgirl.com. The two winners already claimed their prizes. They emailed me back with their addresses within like an hour of me emailing them. So I've already shipped their palettes to them. So there won't be any alternate winners or anything like that. Uh, but I am interested in doing another giveaway that you guys would really like to win. So comment down below also if you have any suggestions of any other makeup palettes that you guys have been wanting. Uh, let me know. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.